what's going on you guys so i just got off work but before we get into this video really quickly i am coming to you with this woman safety and health product this is pepper gel personal alarm it comes in black and white i have not opened it yet until now oh wow it actually comes in pink <laughs> on the side it says black and white on the box it says black and white but i have it in pink i really 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 needed another one of these um the pepper spray that i had the case broke so i have like the gel but i don't have a case but this is really dope i really need this um i live alone i do a lot of things on my own and because of the daylight savings time you know early in the morning it'd be dark and still like early in the evening it, it's dark it comes with this nice little pouch to put it in and oh snap it's like more things coming out the box so i'm imagining that it has something for me to attach to the back so that i can possibly attach it to my keys let's see what we got oh yes it does so it's a few things going on here um I'm not sure what this is, this little link thingy, but it does have this little clip. Maybe you can take this link, insert it in that hole. You see what I just did? Okay, let me close this up really quickly. I actually can't stand these little links. There we go. All right, so it's closed like that. And then we take this clip and we clip it boom like that so they got me like a little note card i'll read it really quickly for you guys and also do not store in vehicle where temperature can exceed well damn all right then. All right, y'all. So the link to this product will be in my description. You already know how I do. Oh, here's the little charge that I was messing with. It's so, it's so small. I don't even know where this go. Oh, it go right here in the back. So I don't know if this bitch is charged, need to be charged. I don't be playing with pepper sprays though. So I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of this video and um, you already know, give this video a like. Make sure you comment down below, share my content, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Hit the link down below you guys to get your product and enjoy. Yeah. I'm back in this bitch, what's good? Let's get this understood, bitch, I wish a bitch would. Yeah, yeah, huh? Bitch, you know the vibes. Please don't blow my high. I hate a bitch that lie. Yeah, yeah you ho. These hoes be in disguise. Get the fuck up out my face, cause I ain't got no time. If it ain't about the cake or if it ain't about a dime. Yeah, every day and don't got a reason. Want someone to bring you peace for. Someone to help you sleep for. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to my channel, J Bob, where the whole lot of great vibes going on big period okay okay we are going to be making some red potatoes um actually we're making smash wait yeah smash potatoes wait smash mashed potatoes girl why are you sleeping Hurry! yes finally we got the cilantro i was trying to figure out where i was going with that now about yeah about the avocados they're molded so it took me so long to finally get cilantro that when i finally got my cilantro for my avocado for my guacamole my avocado was full was molded was bad no good so piss anywho girl you look good we are making the red mashed potatoes and i had some catfish that i did not want to fry I wanted to bake them. It's me trying to figure out if I've got enough potatoes to cook. So we're going to wash them. Cut them. Nah, just kidding. Wash them, cut them, and boil them. What are you thinking? I'm not sure what she's thinking. And come closer. Y'all, this video is literally all over the place. But I wanted to put you in a different angle so that you can see what your girl was doing in the kitchen. So... 
I'm going to cut them not too small, but don't want them to be too big because I do want to be able to, you know, smash them when it's ready to smash them. I'm trying to think what my green. Oh, and I had sauteed some peas, y'all. I haven't had peas in freaking years. So this was in the time when I was fasting, when I wasn't doing any chicken or ground turkey. And because I said that I was still going to eat tuna, I was like, okay, well, shit. I might as well still just have some fish. Now, I thought catfish was a good fish. I think catfish is like maybe three steps up from tilapia. Now, tilapia, I do not eat at all. So we got some catfish, and I got this recipe off of Pinterest. And so right now, we're about to saute our peas. Got the butter or whatever like that. Just need a little bit. Don't need a lot. Now I'm putting my potatoes in the water that is obviously at a boil because it's ready to boil. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all, that water was hot as hell. I mean, but, duh, <laughs> self-explanatory. I have to sneeze. <clears throat> God bless me. So the butter was buttering or melting, I should say. I don't know what I'm cutting right now. Oh, that was some garlic. Now, why did I not mince it up? I don't know, y'all, like, I'm not new in the kitchen, but when it comes to certain things, I am new, and I'm really not used to using, like, whole garlic. I'm used to getting the garlic that even be in a jar. I really don't even understand how people use the garlic paste, because that just seems wow to me. But I got my frozen peas. I really just put them in there with the butter, and I'm pretty sure I seasoned them. Not sure what I use or if I use anything yet. Now, I was pretty pissed when I got to get ready to cook my salmon because this, I said salmon, catfish, my apologies. Y'all, this catfish set out like all day and it was still like low key frozen, just a little bit. But the camera was already rolling, food was already boiling and being cooked. So it's kind of like, what other choice that I have other than to cook the shit so it's just me like examining my meat because when it comes to any type of meat I don't care what it is I have to look at it I just cannot just eat anything anymore I have to look at it and if it don't look good it's either got to get cut off and if I can't cut it off then it's not gonna get eaten up it ain't gonna get ate so bleh, exactly I was told to pat dry the catfish and that is what I'm doing front and back I am pat drying it and I'm very OCD, so it just kind of was like, okay, I got to make sure I really pat these hoes down. Like, if these catfish is going to jail, I'm the one doing the strip, the strip search. I'm petting them down. No weapons for me shall prosper. Now, they told me to pour melted butter over them. Like, when it really comes to some of these recipes, I honestly don't know where they be going with the shit. So... They wanted me to have a mixture of, like, butter and oil. Like, make it make sense for real, for real. So, it's me waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> it's me waiting. So, while I'm waiting, I'm like, shit, let me go ahead and season up my um my peas. It looks like I use pepper. Probably use some. I don't even know. So, yeah, the butter is melted. Now, I'm putting some oil in there. And now, I'm doing what the recipe told me to do now y'all this shit it looks stupid and then what's so crazy is the fish was so cold and the butter was hot that it started to like freeze and i said okay that's enough so i just put the remainder of it in the pan that i was going to use to actually cook the catfish in y'all my peas was really peeing over there like it really was sauteing. It really was doing its thing. It looked really good. It had like a nice crisp on them. Really good. So this is the seasoning that I use for my catfish. Um, I decided to put it in a bowl first because I wanted to eyeball everything that I was using to make sure I wasn't doing too much because I have a, I have a heavy hand when it comes to seasoning sometimes. I'm not going to lie. And then I wanted to, like I'm doing right now, shake my seasons on it front and back and then rub them in. Shake them peas, ho. I must be singing. Who knows what's playing right now? I might, I think, 
Let me see what's playing real quick. Oh yeah, true that, true that, true that. So wash our hands. And that's the crazy thing, y'all. Like, I have OCD, so after I touch raw stuff, I have to wash my hands. But then I realized, okay, what was the point of that? Because I came right back to touch the fish. But I realized I wash my hands a lot while I'm cooking. It's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a left-handed thing. I don't know if it's a, a me type of thing, but I have to just cook and clean all the time. So even like my seasoning bottles, if I'm touching raw meat, everything has to get wiped down with this um disinfectant wipe. So yes, we are cleaning and cooking. And honestly, you guys, if you don't clean and cook, you may want to start. Oh, flowers. Yes, I received flowers that day. They were very beautiful and appreciated. So the peas are peed out. They're done. They're done, done. The potatoes are done. They are ready to get smashed. And now if you don't know how to make homemade mashed potatoes, you boil your potatoes, you get your heavy cream, you get your butter, you get your seasonings. And look at this shit. Look at this. I'm using a measuring cup to, like, I need real kitchen utensils. I need real mixing bowls. I need real, because I'm about to break my shit in five, four, three, two yeah broke so i put the butter in there because the butter was cold and i needed it to melt now let me tell you something about this catfish i realized today why people fry catfish and why they don't bake catfish catfish does not like stay together versus if you was to fry it because the skin holds it together so when I first tried to flip my catfish, it kind of broke in half. So back to my potatoes. You see me put the heavy cream in there. I have seasoned them yet. I'm not sure. But don't put too much heavy cream. It's better to start off not putting too much so that if it's not the consistency that you want your mashed potatoes to be, you can always add more. But I'm pretty much just like whipping them up until I get them to the right consistency. And I'm not sure if I season them or not. I hope. I would think that I did not season it. Okay, I'm seasoning it as I go. So I think I smashed them up first. I get them like smashed as much as I can. Let the butter sit in there. And then I put the heavy cream. And then we season after we mix in between. And I was just like, I might as well use the rest of this seasoning because, hell, it was about to be gone anyway. So... I actually love, 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 love. Like, I've, I would say my favorite thing to make from scratch is mashed potatoes because I love any type of starch when it comes to food. So rice, potatoes, I love it. So after we whip it up, we got to do a taste test. We got to make sure that, you know, did we add too much? Did we add too little of anything? And again, just go ahead and start setting yourself up to prepare to clean as you cook. All right. Now, got to put the lid on there so we can keep it, you know, hot and ready because my catfish are going to be ready in any moment. And that's really the only thing that I'm waiting on right now is my catfish to be done. That's it. And I wanted my catfish to stay in there as long as possible because I wanted my shit to be done. Like, I've never really baked catfish. I've only ever fried catfish. I feel like it's really easy to fry things and no one is done. But when it comes to bacon, like, you really want to make sure that your meat is complete inside and out. All right? Now, this is what the plate looked like. This is what the plate looked like. Mm -hmm. It was so freaking good, and that catfish was so big that actually, the second piece, I had to split with my dad, so I actually took him a plate of what I cooked because it was way too much, but look at my potatoes. Look at, look at them peas. Hope that you guys enjoy. I'll see you next video. Fat man. Pixie. Get the fuck up out the way. Success is all up on my mind. Nah, I ain't conceited. Uh -uh.
I'm, I'm a different breed eh? Catch you slipping, best belief I don't need no reason I'ma cut the ties, ho Turn your wife to my hoe Yeah, I pop a lot of shit But I swear it ain't no typo You smoking on that cat piss I smoke a lot of gas, bitch of Just focus on you, baby girl <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes You know the fuck going on And I'm out this bitch